anyway, I have a fake olive tray. It's the same one I have in my living room. Basically the same thing. It's a fake six foot tree. Um, and it was honestly kind of cheap, but the quality is really good. So I have that in the corner. That's new. I didn't have that before. It came with the fake moss to put in there, but Luna will eat it, so I can't put it in there. Um, I have these hats that, these are not new, I had these on my wall before, as you saw in the before clip. The top two I have never worn, but I guess they look cool on the wall. And then the bottom one I have worn, I wore it to a occasion where a large hat was required. <laughs> um, so I have that on the wall. I have an alarm clock that I don't use as an alarm clock, but it is my, like, clock. I use it for the time. It's nice and big and bright. That's from Target. Um, I've had that for a while as well. In this dresser, I have body suits. I have my jeans, my summer shorts, miscellaneous drawer, pajama drawer, and I forget what the last drawer is, honestly. <laughs> oh, bathing suits. Um, ignore how much dust my candle has consumed. Even if I dust it, it just it's just stuck to the, the wax I need to throw that candle out. But this is not new. I had this before, this little centerpiece. It's fake eucalyptus and fake, I think, baby's breath. I don't know. I had that jar and I tied that ribbon on there, so that was a little DIY project. I have this organizer that I had before, but it's just in a different spot now. I have lotions and miscellaneous makeup products I don't use often. Makeup palettes. Like, I think these are all eyeshadow palettes that I could probably throw out because I don't use them. Um, some lip products. A lot of this is really, honestly, pretty old. And I don't use it, but I'm always like, oh, what if I'm going to need it one day? That's my toxic treat. So, I keep things. Um, this little fake plant I got from Target in the fall. And I really liked it. And I thought I was just going to keep it up for the fall. But I just like the way it looks, especially now. It kind of matches the furniture pretty well. So I kept it there. This vanity, I just want everyone to know that I built it myself. And I'm really proud of it. <laughs> I am in my furniture building era right now. My Miss Independent era. <laughs> Um, it took me two hours, but I built it. So this is where I get ready every day. I do my makeup here. I do my hair. Um, Luna comes and hangs up here. I have headbands and hair ties and hair clips in this drawer, in this little jar, excuse me. Then I have a candle that smells really good. I don't light it here. I'll, like, move the candle if I light it. And then another fake plant. Surprise, surprise on this top shelf here. I want to redo the shelves because I think I could decorate them better, but for now, that's what we're going with. I have a drawer there, and the stool even has storage, so I have, like, my hair dryer, my straightener, all that in there. It's great. I have my plug-ins. My room always smells fantastic. Uh, and, yep, see? There she goes. Always in the mix. So, that's the bulk of it, and then I forgot to show you my organizer on the back of my door. Um, this is from Amazon as well, and this is where I keep all my, like, my hats, my gloves, my beanies. I have baseball caps in here. You guys know that hat well. I've worn it in many videos. Um, and then on top, I think, is, like, yeah, like, gloves and, uh, maybe a scarf. I don't even remember. Um, but I keep all that behind my door. Fits the, the neutral theme really well. And that's it, guys. So this is my room, and honestly, I'm really proud of it. 